I'm doing my video today on what I found this week. Uh, if you watched my car video, you saw some of the stuff I already got, um, but I'll show you the rest of it next. Okay, so here's what I got this week. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my thing here. All right, I got this really adorable elephant. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my camera here. This little guy, you can see that sparkling eye there. It was marked um, 8K18, not 18K, which was kind of unusual. Um, I looked it up on my phone while I was there because it just looks so cute and it looked kind of right. Um, and it turns out the Japanese and Chinese sometimes put the K before the carrot, the K, well, the carrots, before the numbers. And I ended up buying it. I'm glad I did because if I had come home and done some research and realized I had made the mistake of leaving a gold necklace at the place, I would have been pretty unhappy. I got these earrings. Um, I had been shopping and I didn't really find too much. If you watched my car video from earlier in the week, I did a video about all this stuff in my car and the girl was starting to put out some jewelry and I asked her if I could kind of pick through it as she was uh, getting it together and priced and she left me, which was really nice of her. Um, these earrings, I wasn't sure about them. I thought they were gonna probably be gold filled but they're marked 14 karat gold cubic zirconia. So there are cubic zirconias there, but I didn't mind so much since they were gold. I got these really, really pretty kind of filigreed um, topaz and sterling silver earrings. These are all from the same place. I got these earrings that are either like a garnet or a ruby. Uh, they're made in Italy and they were marked both um, 14 karat and the European mark for gold on the back there. Uh, I got this class ring. Um, a lot of the newer class rings and some of the older ones too. Mostly the newer ones are gold filled or gold electroplate or something like that. This one was a little bit older and I know that sometimes they are 10 karat gold. Oops. I'm going to throw it around. I know that sometimes they are 10 karat gold. Um, so I grabbed it. It looked pretty good. And when I got in the car, sure enough, it's marked 10K. So make sure that if you see class rings, you take a good hard look at them because sometimes they are solid gold. Uh, I got these two sterling silver rings. I just thought that one with the L and the heart on it was so cute. And this one's some kind of stone. I'm not quite sure what it is. So I got all that stuff at one store out in this um, pillbox. So I'd gotten this before I started looking at the jewelry. Really cute. Um, all leather. I really like that one. And then at a different um, thrift store that I went to this week, I got this amazing looking amber and sterling silver bracelet. It looks handmade. Uh, it's marked. It's got a maker's mark on it too, but it's just stunning. It's just so beautifully made. Uh, I got these earrings at the same store. I'm guessing they must have come in as the same donation because you really don't see amber that often. They're different colors. Also look very... Um, well made but handmade so really pretty i was excited about that i got these sterling silver and marcasite earrings um, marcasite as a stone is generally like a silvery color um, sometimes it's a darker black generally speaking marcasite is set in sterling silver so if you find uh, some earrings and you see this kind of stone on it nine times out of ten it's going to be sterling silver so make sure you look around pretty hard for a mark thought they were really pretty nice and glittery. Um, these are also sterling silver. Ironically, I found kind of a little buckle ring not all that long ago that matches up with those perfectly, so I'll probably sell them as a set. And then I got, these were the, well, I made a couple of bad decisions, but these earrings, I don't know quite what I was thinking. I thought they were gonna be sterling silver. They were in a bag, I couldn't see them very well. Got a mark on the back, I was like, woohoo, sterling silver. No, patent pending, or the patent number or something like that. It was definitely not sterling silver. So fortunately, they weren't very expensive, but those I'm just going to have to re-donate. And these earrings I got, they kind of looked like diamonds. They were really nicely made. I thought, hoping they were going to be like white gold or sterling silver and something, but they are just nothing. So I'm going to have to re-donate those guys too. 
Sometimes you make bad decisions, you know, you can't feel bad about it. Hopefully I made enough good decisions here that, uh, that the bad decisions aren't so bad. I also got these, um, they look like pearls, they're kind of round, they've got a, like a silvery blue color and I had bought something very similar to these at one point. And pardon my fingernails, we've been painting all weekend so I've got paint all up under my fingernails. Um, but I had gotten it and on the um, class, like around the top, it had been marked sterling silver, so I thought for sure these were going to be in a sterling silver class too, which certainly makes everything a lot more appealing. Uh, but they're not. I should be able to do something with them decoratively because they're a really nice piece of costume jewelry, but that guy was not marked, so it was not what I was hoping for either. Uh, I got these. Um, I know if you've watched my videos before, you know I do mid-century too. It's how I kind of started out reselling. And I got these really awesome dance salad tongs. Get them far enough away, hopefully you can see them. They're silver plated. I didn't polish them up, uh, but you can see that dance mark there. And I'll get those listed on my other Etsy page at The Modern Den. So make sure you check me out at The Modern Den. And one last thing here, I got this really pretty Christian Dior bag. I'll try to zoom out a little bit so you can see it. It's not in the best condition, but I'll get it cleaned up and polished and get that guy right there listed. Really pretty bag. I was super excited about that. That's what I got before I got that pile of jewelry at that one thrift store. That's a really nice bag. That bag alone would have made my day, but it was nice to find the jewelry as well. Thanks for checking me out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Again, check me out at The Modern Den and at Crego and Alice. Thanks.